Hi, I'm Sunny DeSoto, and here's my excerpt from my story, No Loitering, in Sincere Publishing's Book It, a literary lover's anthology that comes out November 30th. Lena watched her girlfriend Callie wander through the shelves like she'd been doing since Lena's shift started an hour and 58 minutes ago, like she always did when Lena was at work. As amused, Callie loved the bookstore as well as the coffee shop. No matter the time of day, there seemed to always be someone inside waiting, wishing for a little inspiration. And Callie was always only too happy to oblige. Lena could see her co-worker's gaze flick from Callie to Lena nervously. Lena knew that according to policy, someone would have to do something, and it should be her. She was the cafe manager, and Callie was her girlfriend. Lena hated being in this position. It reminded her too much of all the times she, as a Latinx woman, had ever been scrutinized or profiled in stores or by security. Growing up being treated as if she didn't belong, as if her very presence was suspect simply for being brown, made her never want anyone to feel like that especially her girlfriend. But policy was policy, and either she enforced it or someone else would. And while she didn't think any of her co-workers, even her boss William, would be cruel about it, being asked to leave, being told that your existence in a space you thought you had every right to be in, should have had every right to be in, was incriminating, was humiliating. Better it come from Lena than some random employee, right? So she braced herself, forcing her body to stand a little taller before heading over to Callie. Her knees felt weak as she stepped out from behind the counter, her stomach churning. She made her way through the cafe tables. She wiped her clammy hands down on her Deadwood Books apron as she approached Callie, who was peeking over the shoulder of some person looking at the array of notebooks by the checkout counters. Lena took a steadying breath. Callie? It shouldn't be, not after years of being together, but it was still a little striking whenever Callie looked at her. Lena lost her voice for a moment, only able to stare. Callie's maple-shaded hair somehow shone under the fluorescent lights as if sunshine followed her everywhere. When her deep teakwood eyes blinked at Lena, a bashful flutter replaced the heavy unease in Lena's gut. And when her full pink lips smiled, Lena wanted nothing more than to lean down for a kiss. Workplace decorum be damned. It should have made things easier, but it didn't. Did you need something? Callie's voice was melodic. Lena swallowed, trying to find her own voice. She could feel everyone's gaze on her, all her coworkers, even the person browsing the notebooks paused to lean in. Lena glanced at the clock. Two hours and three minutes had passed. She had to say something. If she didn't, she'd be in violation of the store policy. She could be written up or even fired for this, and she needed this job. They both did. To read the rest, check out Sincere Publishing's Book It, a literary lover's anthology that comes out November 30th in both ebook and print, but is available right now for pre-sale. In the realms of literature, romance knows no bounds. From bookstore owners to college students, drag queens to muses, professors and erotica authors, whether in a brothel of the Old West or a spaceship in uncharted territory, the stories of Book It cross genres to warm hearts. In these pages, you'll find sweet stories of first-time love to established couples growing closer through their love of the written word. Each author delivers a unique and diverse tale of romance and literature. And for more from me, check out patreon.com slash sunnydesoto and facebook.com slash stories. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed. I did the thumbs up. Why did I do the thumbs up?